In this video, let's look at open chat. So open chat is the first 7 billion language model that achieves comparable results with chat GPT. So this is just like chat GPT. They also have a chatbot UI where you can go and try it out. So I tried a couple of things over here, like, you know, I, uh, you can give system instructions over here. And uh, if you start a new chat, basically you can give uh, system instructions over here. You uh, can vary the temperature, do things like that. Okay. So here I gave a system instruction that uh, reduce hallucination. You are a very useful assistant. You are not supposed to hallucinate. Then I asked questions like, is logistic regression a regression algorithm? It says, yes, it is a regression algorithm. Answer is true. And I said, can you explain more? So it says logistic regression is a statistical method for analyzing data set to determine the relationship between dependent variable and one or more independent variables. The name logistic comes from the use of logistic function, which is a sigmoid, which squashes the input values into a range between zero and one. Thus, it can be also used for classification. Okay, so that is what is explained over here. Then I asked a very generic question like what is lighter, a pound of iron or nails? Uh, it says a pound of iron uh, nails is lighter than a pound of flowers. So it gave a wrong answer. I said are both not the same. Then it kind of corrects it and says that both are uh, same, which is one pound. However, in terms of volume, iron nails are denser. So you may feel them to be heavier, right? Then I also uh, gave a system instruction that you are a Python programming assistant and output only code. So then I asked like this. I type Python program to perform logistic regression on a data set. It actually gave this particular code as output, which is for logistic regression using sklearn libraries, scikit-learn. Then I asked it another code, write a Python code to find longest substring without repeating characters. And it gives this particular thing. Here is a new Python function to find the longest substring without repeating characters. It gives the length of the substring. It gives an example also over here. I also asked write a Python code to find and return the longest substring without repeating characters. Here also it was able to generate the code properly. Okay. So this is their demo, which you can try it out just like chat GPT, but this is open source. You can try it out. So what is uh, specific about this model is that it achieves comparable performance with chat GPT, but the results are from March, their technical report, right? So that is what is um, they are showing over here. Uh, so they show over here that, you know, this is open chat 3.5 and on the empty bench, it has 7.81 score, which is the highest among open source models. Okay. Now what is this particular model? This is actually a more fine tuned of Mistral 7B. Okay. This open chat 3.5, which is a 7 billion parameter model is a fine tuned version of Mistral 7B with something called as conditioned reinforcement learning fine tuning. Okay. So that is what is this particular model? And uh, yeah, it is 7B size and the context is 8192 tokens. Uh, the model is already available on hugging face. They have some conversation templates also on how you can actually use them in hugging face. Right. Then um, they talk about benchmarks over here. Uh, they have their uh, UI, which is what I tried it out. You can also try it out. Um, they talk about the process and other things over here on how you can also train your uh, model. Okay. Now, if you look at the paper, uh, as I said, they make use of something called as conditioned reinforcement learning with fine tuning. So what is this conditioned reinforcement learning with fine tuning? So in the previous case, we looked at direct preference optimization, right? Where they created a data set and then they gave it to some four models like Llama, GPT-4, Falcon and other things. And GPT-4 was the best response and some other they considered as um, low scoring response. Similar thing they are doing over here. So they are generating a data set for an input prompt by giving it to GPT-4 and GPT-3.5. And GPT-4 is what they are calling as their preferred uh, output. Okay. And they are giving less weights to GPT-3.5's responses. So based on this, they are generating something called as coarse grained rewards based on which they are fine tuning your LLM. That is the idea over here. Okay. So they have some details over here on what is conditioned uh, reinforcement, conditioned reinforcement learning with fine tuning. So they have something called as a class conditioned policy. This is where I said that they prefer the response of uh, GPT-4 
and GPT-4 is more preferred response, GPT-3.5 is less preferred response. So in the fine tuning, they are trying it to uh, try to get the output close to your uh, GPT-4's responses. So that is how they are replacing the reinforcement learning with human feedback or other those kind of mod. Okay. So what they are doing over here is that uh, they are trying it to align it more with say GPT-4 responses. That is what they are doing over here. Okay. And they are uh, talking about, uh, you know, mixed quality data over here. So what is mixed quality data? Let's quickly have a look at it. If they have given some more details of what is mixed quality data. So what they are doing is that given a conversation data, they are trying, this is about instruction tuning. Okay. That is not what we want. Uh, where we given a pre-intained a small set of high quality expert conversion data, a larger medium quality or sub uh, optimal conversation data set. They aim to find LLM policy using only data from this union of uh, expert uh, high quality data and uh, medium quality or sub quality conversation data set. So that is what they are calling as mixed quality data set. Okay. So further details can be found in this paper. You can check out to understand more about what is this conditioned reinforcement learning with uh, reinforcement learning fine tuning. And the data set they have said over here, the mixed quality data consists of a shared GPT data set, approximately 70K shared conversations and 6K expert conversations by GPT-4. And the remaining suboptimal conversations are from GPT-3.5. That is how they are creating this mixed quality data over here. If you go back to the benchmarks over here, uh, so go to the benchmark over here. So what they are saying is that on these different benchmarks, when compared to open source state of art, say for example, on the MT bench, um, Wizard LM uh, uh, 70 billion has 7.71, right? Orca 13 billion has on AJAVL the best score for the SOTA or uh, open source state of the art models. That is what they are saying over here. Okay. These results are taken uh, from the papers and official repository. So that is what they are saying over here. So you can try out open chat an interesting alternative to chat GPT. Uh, these models are available. They've given the recipe over here of how you can train it on your own data for your purposes. So you can check that as well. So I'll be putting the link to this GitHub page, the chat UI and the paper. You can check it out. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.